Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a big update for you guys on the snails. You guys have been wanting to know how my little snail tank is doing, so I wanted to do this update for you guys now. I know you guys love the video where I sat up their snail tank. That video kind of went a little bit crazy. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed it, so I wanted to do an update for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this snail tank update, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. So the first update I will give you guys on the snails is they're actually doing really, really good. For the first few weeks that I actually had the snail tank, I was actually scooping out the eggs because they were laying a ton really, really fast and I didn't want to overwhelm the tank. So I did scoop out some of them, but after the first week or two of doing that, I decided to just let nature take its course with the snails and they did start having babies. Now the number of babies is really all over the place. Sometimes I see a bunch of them. Sometimes I don't see that many. I do feel like it kind of fluctuates, which it is to be expected. Honestly, there's really no way to keep track of all of them, but I have seen some babies in there and so far they're doing really good. Unfortunately, three of the baby ram's horns that I put in there did not make it. They lived in there for about a week and then all of a sudden, one day, three of them passed away. I wasn't really sure what happened, but my big ram's horn, my biggest one, he's doing really, really good and I've had no problems with him at all. So my biggest ram's horn is doing amazing, but sadly, the three little baby ones didn't make it. Now that's not to say there won't be more baby ram's horns in the future. I really don't know. We'll just have to see. But for now, it's mostly bladder snails. They are taking over that tank and then I do have my one little ram's horn. But I know that you guys really wanna see them, so I'm gonna go take you guys and show you them now. So one thing, speaking of snails that I've been doing, this is my 10 gallon aquarium that you guys know is cycled. Um, if the water's hazy, I just did a big water change and cleaned this tank, that's why it's a little bit hazy. But as you guys know, I have been battling snails in this tank, um, trying to save as many as I can and putting them in the small snail tank. And you guys are probably wondering why there's like a salt and pepper shaker right here. This is actually a really old herb jar that I've had and obviously it has like the shaker spout at the end. So I basically made a snail trap and that's how I have been trapping snails out of this tank. Just little bitty babies that are left over. I've been trapping them with carrot and cucumber slices and then once they go in here, they start eating and they really don't want to leave after. I mean, would you if you had an endless amount of food? So they go in here and then I take out the jar, which I'm about to do, and we will see if we caught any snails. I can already see some, so I'm sure there are quite a few in there. So we are going to take this out and then we are going to take the snails and we are going to put them in the snail tank. All right. So here is... The little salt and pepper jar and then we're gonna see how many snails we've got in here I can already see quite a few all right so you guys can see the little snails I see one two three there's one on top of the cucumber four five quite a few seven so I see seven little snails in here. Um, one thing I will say is there's actually a teeny tiny baby ram's horn right here. And I am actually freaking out because my other three babies died. I probably mentioned that to you guys in this video. You can see him right there in front of my finger really good. But I can't believe there's a baby ram's horn. I don't know where it came from. But I very much hesitate to take him out of this tank because this tank is cycled completely. And so I know that it is obviously a good environment for ram's horn, especially if he's sensitive. I'm actually really scared to put him in the snail tank now that I've lost three babies in there. Um, I'm really, really hesitant. I kind of want to leave him in this tank, but I also don't want to leave him in this tank. I'm really torn because it will be a lot harder to like track him, you know what I mean? And like see him and be able to make sure he's okay. Don't know what I should do with him. But all of these bladder snails are going in the snail tank. We're going to go do that right now. But all right, let's go and take them in there and we're going to put all these bladder snails in the snail tank. All right, here is the snail tank in all of its glory. Nothing has changed as far as the inside goes. I'm just doing regular water changes and cleans and then tank maintenance, but I will be showing you guys all of the snails that are in here. So like I mentioned, it's all bladder snails and then my one really big ram's horn, he is in there. I'm gonna turn on the light so you guys can see him better. So there is my big leopard ram's horn. He's doing really good. He's actually eating a piece of a Plico wafer right now because I did drop that wafer in there um, probably about an hour ago. So he is munching on that. Every time I drop a wafer in there, they always fly to it because they absolutely love them. Here are two of my biggest bladder snails. They are actually on their way down to the wafer. And then some snail eggs. You guys can see the little baby snail eggs there. 
which I am leaving in. I don't mind if they procreate. It doesn't bother me. Oh, there's another snail back there on the moss ball. All right, I want to show you guys a few babies if I can get this to focus. I do have a lot of babies in here right now. So it's kind of really hard to see, but there's two babies right here. There they are. There's two right here. There's two right here. I think that's one right there. They're pretty much everywhere. Super hard to see, but there are a lot of little babies in here. There's two more here. Yeah, they're pretty much everywhere. There's one right there. They're super hard to see, but as they grow, they'll become easier. Obviously, I do have really, really big bladder snails. That's a big one back there. And then my favorite, of course, is my ram's horn. And then, of course, we need to move all of these little snails into the tank, so we're gonna be doing that right now. You can see I caught quite a few out of the other tanks. So we're gonna be moving them into the snail tank now where they can thrive and breed and I don't have to worry about them. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is very, very carefully dump the water out of the snail catcher so I can get the vegetables out so I can take the snails out. Very, 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 very carefully. All right, now that's empty. Now all that's left is the veggies and the snails, and then we can take them out of here and put them in the tank. All right, little snails, the time has come. Are you ready? There's one. There's another one. All right, so I put all of the baby snails in this tank. They're all in there now, crawling around. There's a lot of them down there eating, as you guys can see. Um, this jar is empty except for that one little bitty baby ram's horn. I'm not putting him in the snail tank because I'm scared he will die like all the other ones did. I'm considering maybe just leaving him in this jar inside of the big tank and then hoping he doesn't escape or something. Um, that's really the only thing that I can do just to kind of keep an eye on him because he's so little you can barely even see him. Let me try and find him. So there he is in the bottom of the jar. You guys can barely see him, but he's so little and he's so cute. I'm definitely worried about him and I don't want to put him in the snail tank. I'd rather keep him in the tank that is fully cycled. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to keep him in the cycle tank because I know that that tank is safer for him. But I don't know how I'm going to confine him yet. Oh, I really don't know what to do. But I will definitely let you guys know when I come up with a solution. But he is so cute. But yeah, other than that, all of the snails are doing really, really good. They're just eating away. So yeah, that is my snail tank. That is how they are all doing. Now, I know that some of you probably follow me on Instagram and you saw me talking about getting some more snails. Once my big tank that I'm currently cycling is done, I do want to get a big mystery snail. There's one at PetSmart that I've had my eye on for a couple weeks. And even if that particular one is gone, I would like to have one anyway, even if I don't get to get the one that I showed on Instagram. I actually posted a picture of it. It was so, so cute. I really wanted it. So I do think that I will get a mystery snail. I also kind of want some Neorite snails. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I want to do right now. I also have my 10 gallon, which is completely done cycling. So technically I could get some snails and put it in there and they would be totally fine, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm also considering moving my one big ram's horn out of the snail tank and then putting it into the 10 gallon tank, but I'm not really sure if I want to do that right now or not because I am hoping to use the 10 gallon as a quarantine tank for any new fish that I get. So pretty soon I will be taking all of the rocks and plants and everything out of that tank and it will probably just be like a bare bottom tank with one plant or something for any future fish that I want to get for my big 36 gallon. But we're not quite there yet. The tank isn't done cycling so we have a bit to go. But other than that, everyone is doing really good. All of the snails are doing good except for those three baby ram's horns which broke my heart because they actually doubled in size in the last few weeks and then all of a sudden they just passed away it was very very sudden I still don't know what happened which it's okay my big ram's horn is still doing really good so 
that's really important to me. And like I said, I am considering moving him into my big tank or into the 10 gallon eventually, but only time will tell. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this snail tank update. They're all doing really good. I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.